Hello everyone, we're going to read two chapters this week and the first one is called Muggle Wump Has an Idea and that's what it should look like in your book. I'm going to start reading. So, as soon as Mr and Mrs Twit had disappeared down the road, the monkeys all flipped back on their feet the right way up. Quick, get the key, Muggle Wump called out to Roly Poly Bird, who was still sitting on the roof of the house. What key? shouted the roly poly bird. The key in the door of our cage, cried Mugglewump. It's hanging on a nail in the work shed. He always puts it there. The roly poly bird flew down and came back with the key in his beak. Mugglewump reached a hand through the bars of the cage and took the key. He put it in the lock and turned it. The door opened. All four monkeys leapt out together. We are free, cried the two little ones. Where shall we go? Dad, where shall we hide? Oh, don't get excited, said Mugglewump. Calm down, everybody. Before we escape from this beastly place, we have a very important thing to do. What? they asked him. We're going to turn those terrible twits upside down. We're going to do what? they cried. You must be joking, Dad. I'm not joking, Mugglewump said. We're going to turn both Mr and Mrs Twit upside down with their legs in the air. Don't be ridiculous, the roly-poly bird said. How can we possibly turn those two maggoty old monsters upside down? We can, we can, cried Mugglewump. We are going to make them stand on their heads for hours and hours, perhaps forever. Let them see what it like feels like for a change. How, cried Roly Poly Bird. Just tell me how. Mugglewump laid his head on one side. And a tiny, twinkly little smile touched the corners of his mouth. Now and again, he said, but not very often, I have a brilliant idea. This is one of them. Follow me, my friends, follow me. He scampered off towards the house and the three little monkeys and the roly-poly bird went after him. Buckets and paintbrushes, cried Mugglewump. That's what we need next. There's plenty in the work shed. Hurry up, everyone. Get a bucket and a paintbrush. Inside Mr Twit's workshop, there was an enormous barrel of hug-tight sticky glue, the stuff used for catching birds. Fill your buckets, Muddlewup ordered. Now we're going to the big house. Mr Twit had hidden the key in the front door under the mat and Mugglewump had seen her doing it. So it was easy for them to get in and they went all four monkeys with their buckets of sticky glue. Then came the roly-poly bird flying in after them with a bucket in his beak and a brush in his claw. <laughs>